Nerd Soul. Yeah. Late ill kid at one young so holding down bringing that street geek and nerd soul. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Let's go. We got anime as y'all going and give us some applause because we ain't by ourselves. Nah nah nah. I bring to you first up, of course, the top distributor of the Gulf Coast region. Coop Doggy Dog. That's right. Oh no, we ain't keeping that. <laughs> Oh, I Hell no! Nah. You. you can like it all you want, but let's do <laughs> have that. <laughs> I love Snoop. Minus his political choices lately. <laughs> Enough on that. But I look nothing like Snoop. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Coop, doggy dog. Oh, mm. blurry. <laughs> no, no, no. That is. Keep that all in right. the 90s. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go back to regular Coop next week. Oh, Lord. Anyway, what's up, y'all? Y'all will hear this eventually on www.blerd-ish.com. But, of course, you can catch it on our Spotify. They're having a little bit of planned maintenance. Um, that might take a little moment for various reasons. You know, shout out Black IT. Hopefully, they are on the case. Mm-hmm. So, But you will see, you can hear us on several different platforms you know, out there. And since, you know, on since they talking about Snoop Dogg, I just want to say on your FM FM. FM Dow. You know, if we're gonna go the whole way, we're gonna do the skit too. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. F dot M and Dow. <laughs> That's right. You know what I'm saying? You can you can listen to this uh stream on W Balls. Uh oh, man. <laughs> you put your right. whole self in time no out. More, no more. The rest of the show <laughs> is a family show. That's it. So seriously. All right. Also in here, I give it to the dubious one. All right. That's right. Mark Dub, what's up? What is up, y'all? It's Mark Dub, half man, part of Major Spice and like that Creole night occasion. Yours truly, but never truly yours. How y'all doing? Man, yo, we up in here good. I'll, I'll say one more thing about the Snoop Dogg. Uh, the first album he dropped, like when I turn, when I put the tape in the deck, and I press play, I immediately knew I ain't supposed to be listening to this. <laughs> I, I was like, I ain't supposed to be listening to this. Uh, uh, see, I'm a little older, so I it 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 hit it hit at right the just the right time when I was li- yeah I it, it it hit all my vices all at once. It was a, <laughs> it was a, a a terrible time and and one of the greatest times to be alive. You turn I'm it on. I'm glad that I survived. And all <laughs> of a sudden, a, a dicky suit materialized on the side of you that you must put on. Oh <laughs> uh, no, man! Them dicky suits. Oh man, I think man, I had that to stuff, put this that on. stuff burn when you wore that. If, it don't you, matter. You ever tried to run them dickies? It'd be so stiff. Man, look, don't. <laughs> <laughs> like you dickies, <laughs> dickies is the hey, only cause, clothes cause that you it, have to like really break in. Dicky material break when, in when rubbed against itself will ignite. Do you know how long <laughs> it would take for you to break dickies in? You will be on a new pair for a different size before Dickies you break. Dickies will break <laughs> you in. You break don't break in. All it takes is a week of factory shifts and, and then. Even right then. In. But just walking in them? Ain't no running. Mark is right. Uh, like, listen to Mark. He's a scientist. He knows. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, yo, I used to have to wear, when when I wore a Dicky shirt, I used to have to wear a, a, a t shirt underneath because the Dicky material rubbing on your skin. <laughs> I think it'll give you a rash. Uh, yeah. You it, have it, to it, have Dickie's got to get have oil, fire, <laughs> washed on heavy to break in. Like they have to be assaulted. <laughs> like, they, like I say, they they'll break you down. I was like, okay, I'm wear I'm wear the undershirt for this joint. <laughs> other thing that's ru- that's rougher is rustlers, mm. and they were caught. Ooh. Shouts to wrestlers. Wrestlers no, said they, they was cotton, but I don't no, know if they, I believe it. Mike, they don't get I said no the shout same, out. I was about to say the same thing, Mike. I still, I don't believe that. Still I, cotton. I, I've worn cotton my whole life. Yeah, still, still cotton. Look, y'all. For for y'all who don't know, if y'all ever been blessed to not have to wear rustlers, or you never been a husky size, because you know them husky rustlers. Yo, shouts to the huskies. You know oh, what I'm saying? God, he, he was out there. You know what I'm saying? Living. You ain't. We gonna, he, we gonna have to. You we never been poor. Find another name for that. It's, 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 I feel like it's time to change Huskies. Maybe, Husky maybe, maybe this to sounds... be for thicker gentlemen or something. I yeah, don't know. Husky is like the combination of chubby and ashy. I just oh, it man. feels like ash. 
Right, it, it, it don't feel Husky. right. Husky. My skin's dry. Sorry, y'all. Bad mm-hmm. memories, y'all. Bad memories. Mm. Ah, shouts out to the little brother. They got a song called Good Clothes. And then who <laughs> got a line where he's like, and like your mom take you out and a salesman walk you straight over to Husky. <laughs> Bruh. That's yeah, he look he look at you be like, I ain't even gonna take you there, son. I ain't gonna let's just go on over here to Husky real quick. Man, man, I got on my good clothes. I'm sick of wearing hand me down raggedy hood clothes. <laughs> Call the mother, able- man. I wish good clothes. I was able go to get out to the out of Husky. Yeah, I probably should close. Yeah. By man, middle school you- and high school, you know, I it, look lost the weight because man, the husky just don't it don't they don't like you. The man, they, people who make husky back then, they just like they just slap some material together. They just be like, man, look, just just get you together. It'd be Give you right. just enough in the thigh, just enough to put your pants on. <laughs> Sit down, like to stand up, like you gonna be a standing up mother ever. But you ain't gonna be like, sitting it, down. It's it's gonna be some work, man. Man, it's don't think you gonna be you, going you to no work school hard. dance with the huskies on. <laughs> Bro, you better gangster lean, cause you ain't gonna be you ain't gonna be pop like you ain't gonna be moving your legs. Nah, you ain't gonna be doing none of that hey, cool hey, stuff. Hey, like who said that's, man. that's that other material where you you definitely gonna you gonna start a five leg rub together. That's so why all careful. the thugs was just we was just all the thugs just two step and just went <laughs> that's around the circle. Could do them jeans were so stiff, man. <laughs> look, see. Oh uh, man, see this is an anime podcast, but bro, y'all youngsters, y'all got all kinds of jean materials. Back then, jeans was just jeans. I'm just stuff. saying, just jeans. when you were able Put them jeans on, that was it. To upgrade to Jabo jeans, I'm telling you, y'all laugh at all you youngsters. It was laugh like about us. Fabric. Talk about Jabo jeans. jeans actually bent. Jabo <laughs> jeans actually was what your what jeans felt like. Like cool. I'm t- <laughs> Coop, I, I could dance in Jabo jeans. I could, Girl, you I can live. Dance. You can live in Jabo jeans. You can like move your leg, your thigh. Your thigh was an angry at you. Say, bro, <laughs> it, it wasn't the material that fought you. No, it was like <laughs> it oh, worked in, it worked in unison with you. <laughs> Girl, I was like, so this is how the rich are living. <laughs> oh, this is how the muddied class does. <laughs> All right, so check it. I'm gonna throw it to Coop. Coop, what you been watching, man? What you been watching? Well, since you started with me, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna break a little tradition because Mark, you know, I'm gonna give Mark some credit. Mark has been leading where I haven't been going, but I've been listening. Which means I have. I when I said I was gonna skip Undead Unluck, mm. I kind of did uh, because. Me too. Okay, <laughs> so okay, like so. All right. I ain't really got that on that, but I am gonna start off with Delicious in Dungeon, and I want to give Ooh. it some some love this week. It deserves some love, bam! Because look, y'all, y'all who know me, you know, especially our homeboy, uh, Camp, you know, of Camp Vision, a lock, if you will. Um, he's a cyberpunk fan, and y'all know the studio that did Cyberpunk Trigger. Mm-hmm. Man, I gotta give Trigger. You know, we say Mappa don't miss, Trigger don't don't miss the mark. You know, as well. I don't know what else to say. I'll make up something for Trigger, but Trigger deserve love. Like, first of all, I never heard of Delicious in Dungeon. Apparently, it's a big, well loved manga, so it is an adaptation. Mm, okay. So, you know, it is a popular book, but man, what they are doing with it, with their own style to add to the Western fantasy, if you will. Like, some weird ways, I'm not like a big fantasy guy. I ain't care about Lord of the Rings. But did I like Gauntlet growing up? Did I like other properties like that? <laughs> I love them. And, you know, I love that they didn't make it too... Like, it definitely is an anime. But they let a dwarf be a dwarf. You know what I'm saying? They let a gnome be a gnome. And when... But you know what else we grew up with? Dungeons and Dragons, the cartoon. I never really played the game, but I love the cartoon growing up. Yeah. I love Vox. I'm ready for Vox to come back. Uh, I hope it ain't a delay, but who knows what happened. You know, I haven't heard that about the new Vox season. This has fulfilled that gap for me that Vox provided a high level. This hasn't hit that high, that crazy high that Vox can hit. But far as consistently good and starting to get to that high, it is. In a way, it's as bloody as box at a given moment, and it's like always, oh, it's just like shockingly deaths. You know what I'm saying? So it is TVMA, 
but they don't really they're not foul they might curse a little bit like you know because they're discussing politics or they're angry but the mission has been to save uh lyle's sister he's the knight he's joined by uh an elf wonderful like who's a friend of his sister who's been eaten by the red dragon now if y'all know i kind of we always joke about tv time um on on these things and tv time in anime is a trope that's just kind of it's bizarre <laughs> and uh it don't make no sense but when they actually honor something that you like all right shouldn't she be dead by now <laughs> and but then You'd when it's like gets, how long has it been bruh it's like i mean when it's you, you remember tia matt from dungeons and dragon right yes like, uh, okay so baby. this isn't a three-headed dragon but this is a still large red dragon probably like the scale of tiamat almost like it's a dangerous it's the strongest thing in this dungeon that we know of so far I'm pretty sure that tiamat is based like off of a like a, a ancient yes it like, is I, I think it's based off of like uh some ancient uh, I'll it's say non uh non Christian but religion. Something we don't want to exist in real life. Let's just leave it at that yeah. it's like it. it it goes beyond the TV show and you know just the game. That TMAT is something that that you can I'm sure research and find and you don't want to probably research and go down that rabbit hole too far. I'll just say uh, that. I, I, but, I, I'm, I, as, as you said that I did look it says that Tiamat in ancient Mesopotamian mythology was the primordial goddess who was the personification of the salt sea and the mother of the gods. So let's roll it back. So there yeah. you have it. So but so this red dragon, you know, it's very violent. Um it ate Lyle's sister, who is the top spellcaster in their crew. So their whole goal has been to get to this red dragon so they can find a way to kill it to do this so this is the episode last two episodes in this episode they've been coming up with a plan and to figure out how to kill it so with trigger they know how to do like their static stuff pretty cool it still looks good but when it gets to what when it gets to the business part of trigger y'all know how when all the crazy miss happen with like cyberpunk as an example or bna or kill the kill mm -hmm. this trigger can go all over the place and it gets wild it hit this is one of the episodes where the triggeredness of it all happened i mean buildings was being tore up in the dungeon because it's like we're in a dungeon but it has like cities or places within the dungeon it's whatever so you don't know what you're gonna get on different floors and basically they had to confront this dragon in an empty city that they might have the dragon may have killed everybody or they had to escape so bottom line is they did figure out how to kill it it was like a one little scale underneath its head that you know that you got to stab and i mean they went it took every ounce of their ability it was like you were you were it they they hit every emotion of funny but this is very dangerous you don't know if they're gonna make it they're getting hurt stuff is dropping on them they get burned up uh you know they use an explosive mag magic but at the end of the day what delicious and dungeon do of course you know they know they all that they didn't eat the dragon but they had to say like we need to look for my sister is she possibly that the dragon didn't still digest or whatever now as we and you have kind of mentioned this and we all said it like okay it seems like she would be digested but also when they talked about how how a dragon ignites its breath that mm -hmm. it's lined with like fuel and it clicks its tongue to start the fire i was even worried even more for his sister like how the hell would she like, not yeah, even she like even if she's not digested how would she not be burned up in all of this so after they kill it they actually hey, show well, them technically if she's down the dragon's gullet and the source of ignition is in the back of his throat she's past the the source of ignition so hope she well, wouldn't be burned well unfortunately far as i know they actually show the scene they show the scene is like hey get your swords like the shout out to like Sinji. i always give Sinji love because he had this 
the man he doesn't keep care of his weapons but far as his cutting and cooking tools he has this very special knife of like the highest order of metal whereas the other dwarf lady would have got on his butt if because she was like you don't do nothing with your weapons and dwarves are supposed to be blacksmiths but he's not really a smith he's kind of uh, offbeat but he takes care of his cooking stuff and that's what his family taught him and all this whatever so he's not the best warrior but he can't fight uh but he had this one thing that can kind of cut through anything so he was able they was able to cut through and they kind of saw some of her hair at first and it gave you hope and they show like and i mean they're showing you going through the liver they're full of blood they're oh, covered wow. it was something for an anime this was like as gross as say uh wow. as gross as uh game of thrones as go gross as uh i don't know um What's the what's the my mind be slipping? But you know y'all know the HBO show where everybody was covered in blood, do the magical stuff. Lovecraft Country. It was as oh, close yeah, as yeah. that, uh, and it was just like they cut through that, they cut through this. Then it was like, hold up, maybe she's in the tongue or something. They cut through it, and they found they pulled out the body, and it ends, and you just see the skeleton that looks like your sister, and that. Now of course. They did the anime thing where Lyos, while he was almost dying, and he won, he s- kind of talked to his sister spiritually. She said, don't worry about me. I'm fine, blah, blah, blah. But he was still fighting in that moment while he was killing it, and he didn't give up, but it just ends like that. <coughs> no words. Wow. They saw the skeleton, and it ends. So when I say the danger level, the seriousness of this show can kick up any moment where it's like... A action adventure comedy this went from comedy to this to like maybe we got to come to the realization now unless it's some magical thing but i don't think they did all that to show that she's still alive so i think that this is going to end like the first season and i don't know maybe inspire lios to try to become maybe to win this dungeon or to defeat it because they still got to figure out who's over it and why nobody can't necessarily die in this dungeon that's like a big big thing that the gnome and the lord of the land is looking into that's the the b plot that's kind of the background and they want to keep that away from the l so they need to find the dungeon master and get this secret lyos and them that wasn't their mo yet but that's probably going to become a big thing in season two so unfortunately unless she can get revived and there's another way there might be a way but i guess if you have enough magic in in the dungeon from what the gnome explained maybe somebody can bring her back because they did they have all died in this du- in dungeons and been brought back but mm-hmm. this is kind of gruesome you know what i'm saying so if there is no revival magic for her she might be gone so that's where i'm gonna stop with my review with that it's just i can't i i really give it a it's a a plus anime for me this season like it's just a plus like um well done um touching many different things for me that's what's up man that's what's up you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it like every time you come through talking about delicious and dungeon it's always a good thing so that's like, what's up you, like you know look i give love to berserk of gluttony I always, i'm always gonna use berserk of gluttony as, oh, a joke. Boy. as far as the fantasy like that's truly a c plus thing <laughs> c well excuse mm. me c c i ain't gonna Talking say c plus. plus but this is you take all of the fantasy and then shout out to netflix and whoever else is producing it because netflix really put money into it they did the the dub and the sub together so it's dual casted so I have been enjoying it in English so I haven't had to work extra hard to enjoy it I just been able to jump into it look and I know some of you sub people look I become a sub person only when I want to catch up with something but when I can enjoy something in dub I do so I can actually rest my mind trust me I watch Shogun I know there ain't no dub for that so I've been having to use my powers for Shogun and it's been wonderful but uh Yes, I'm, I appreciate them being able to do this like that. So, uh, and of course, all the other stuff I've been watching is pretty much other things we're going to talk about. But um, you know, shout out to um, Mr. Villains Day Off, and shout out to 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 the bottom tier 
to Tozumaki. So that's my slice of love, mm. slice of life reference. I still need to uh, watch what Gamma mentioned about um, a sign of affection. Still, oh try yeah. It out. So I'm going An to anime about that sweet love. Pass the mic and see where we go from there. All right, that's what's up. That's all right. Well, Dub, what you out there watching in the streets? Okay, so you know, I uh, unlike you guys, I I I stayed on the job, and I actually <laughs> I actually watched Undead Unluck. Hey, Did man, it get that's good? Your review. That's your review. No, man. I didn't like it. I, oh, I well, mean, damn. I mean, I it it is spinning into I I don't like the Ano character, and this episode pretty much was the origin story of the Ano Un character. Oh and man, they are not gonna in, let her go. I mean, let that, them go. Sorry. That that they're yeah. not. And and th- like I think they're trying it feels like they were trying to really like make this character so important. Um it it, it begins with Ano having like telling several members of of under that uh Andy is experiencing so like um an existence with fuko and if they interfere they'll kill him and it, it'll it'll mess everything up and unrepaired tells i know he he needs i need uh information on the future and if you refuse to share with me i'm gonna kill him anyway so they 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 square off and then it it dives back into like Ano's memories uh, you see this young young i don't know person person yeah thank you Stay name hard. akira kuno and akira's attachment to his mother and his love of drawing is like this big thing he finds a he finds a g-liner artifact and when he touches it it allows him to see the future and so that's why he he he's he's he draw he he draws a book. It's soup it's he, he draws a book. It's it's way too successful. Um he sees Andy and Fuko in these visions that the G liner is giving him. He instead of drawing their story, he draws another story and it blows up and it's it's the book that Fuko loves. To you with love or to you my mm-hmm. love, or whatever it is. And um he, they have some bojangly reason that I really can't <laughs> understand why he couldn't. He he if he if he if he wrote the story <clears throat> if he drew the story with Andy and Fuko it would ruin things. But he could give clues about the future through to to you, my love, whatever the hell. And he he had to write under a a pen name, Ano Un. Oh boy. And and so. Oh. Let me ask a question. Ano has again grounded the story to a grinding halt, huh? Yep. Oh uh, like, well, when it? when he comes out when he comes out of the memory, he does um he does serve unrepair. Oh, so he beat up unrepair. Oh, so there's actually like a fight this time. Um, with one arm. That he cut off, he still just they they still yeah. That he cut out on, on his own or her, their own or what you know. Own. Well, but I think I'm I'm trying to remember y'all. I I I think he I think he actually sacrificed something or some other filth, floor and filth, so that Andy and Fuko not could live filth, and, and, filth. and now they have to fight um with Otto Autumn's finger or something. I'm Autumn's, Autumn's finger, like, all right, let's. You know, you, after, you know, you know, uh, blah, 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 to um, make this simple, I know they... was using Autumn's finger to fight okay. uh, the the people of Unrepair who were trying to. Oh, see, we didn't know that yeah. part. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you mean the people look, under? I, or... I still, I still don't understand. Um, that person's unpowers. I don't. Think they're gonna live? I I think did they die? It's 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 confusing enough to me, y'all. I'm having a hard time. 
So at the end of it, this, it doesn't help the child didn't watch because I don't like this, it enough to like fully recap. Yeah, um, right. You can just make you can just make uh, beginning in and we. I, I beginning might go back and because well, it, it looks yeah. like they tried to. It looks like they tried to progress the story, but then was like, nah, let's do a flashback. I yeah, they the flashback is how they were telling um I know Un's origin and uh, uh, yeah. Look, y'all look look at a recap. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm it, gonna it, just be honest. This I'm not in time. I'm falling out of love with it. I I I give Mike a hard time sometimes. Cause I be like, you know, we ain't gonna be able to do like a lot of new stuff for this and that. However, I have to agree with the count. I know that it's a tra- more of a traditional shonen, so they're gonna stretch some stuff out for various seasons. It did not need to be grindy, and I know that to introduce such a powerful, weird, and unexplainable character when you got less than possible 10 episodes and you grind it, the action to a halt to start like to kind of make a new arc within an arc it's like I didn't need an Ano arc within yeah. you, you the know pages what? arc when they're supposed to be on the run to get under <laughs> and to beat to beat you know cool. death I, y- yo I just I thought about it just now because that that's how my brain works you 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 remember how in this Mortal Kombat reboot how they tried to force that other character on us? I don't even care to remember his oh, name. Oh, the random I guy really, that wasn't in the game well, or any I game. I really at all. loathe Cole, that but I didn't even watch it because once I, I feel, read about it, I, I didn't feel care. like they're doing the same thing with this Ano Un character. Like they're tr- they're they're forcing it on you and trying to make that character so important to the story that you gotta accept them. And I'm like. I just I don't like well, unfortunately, it. It's like the story was dope already. Like everything was cool. We were going ahead, like, and then you stopped everything. It's like, bruh, we was fine where we were. So again, like they, it they, just they're trying like to justify how important this character is, and it's like this should have been a season two character. It's too yeah. much in season one when they could have just like they need to be dealing with Billy and who Billy is yeah, and Billy's intention. You. Like it should be if you had to like say make it just a simple battle of fighting unrepair first of all unrepair ain't easy to beat so how much you go how you gonna beat billy so it's like i need to see a little not saying like your good old western you know he man back and forth but i would like to see a little battle between them and under i know it's coming but make some more sense of it we get under's motivations but you know it's like should have separated them into two teams one team that would go and basically find Ano and protect Ano to get the to get the information, and another team to go after Billy. And that team that goes after Ano, we basically don't see them. They we just know they're doing stuff. They check in from time to time, but we don't get this like I mean, random story about we can get that story in season two we know that person exists we know we're going to get that person we know that person has some important things to do but we don't need to learn about that right now because yeah. right now we're going to serve up billy we should and, and we should have <sighs> just moved like let's say you don't beat billy because billy is the big bad for now yeah you're not gonna and, beat him this season yeah, but at but, least show us pursuing him I we ain't seen Billy way. in a little while either. I mean, mm-hmm. he's back chilling like a gigantic boss, as they do. And then we just playing around with Ano. Honestly, bro, at this point, I'm not saying I'm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do a recap or go look. I might go binge. Or honestly, yeah. what what episode? I, give I, me the number. What's I'm the a, episode number? What's the episode that's number? Episode I think number we're 23. two behind now. Episode twenty three. So that means we got three more episodes left. I am going to jump to episode twenty three. I'm. I don't care where I left left off at. I'm gonna jump to episode twenty three. I'm, I'm gonna I'm tell you because I I really I I really felt like like yo I I'm I'm sorry y'all. I know I I gave a review so terrible. You you, you shouldn't even consider it. we ought to strike it from the record. But I that's really how lackluster this is. Like they they drug the the care out of out of so me for it. Are we? I don't even care about it anymore. Character. After coming, after they came out of the story and book, I say done, but are they shifting the focus back to Andy and Fuko and they? They and should. Like, are like, they? I mean, are they? Probably not. Fuko is is still getting a lot of coverage, but like like I said, this 
this episode, a great portion of it was giving us uh, how how Anno Un came about, how so Akira got, became a uh, flashback, how they got the artifact, and how they became a. Uh, uh, okay, so whatever, man. We got three. <laughs> so basically, the next three episodes need to be focus back on either the whole team or Andy and Fuko yeah, versus bro, Victor on, get, get, versus get away Autumn. From this weirdo character. I still Honestly, don't understand that unpower. I don't care at this point. You, I am you unconcerned. You know what would have been better with these episodes where you could still grind it to a halt but it would have been interesting? You could have had instead of this whole Anno stuff or Anno for one episode and Anno just give them some sage advice and then they got to do it. And then if you had Andy go inside of his mind and talk to Victor basically on some Naruto and uh Nine Tails stuff. I would enjoy that more. Oh because the way Victor I, is, Victor can be like, I don't care. I'ma live anyway. I, I do and he could be I, I, and him trying to convince him to be like, bruh, I, we need your help. They'd be like, I don't care. I've lived I've lived through this world 10, 12 I, times. I do I remember ain't going die, something. Baby. I do remember something that you because Andy did, in his memory, fight Victor in one of these episodes, and he learned a skill in his fight with Victor that when he comes to and he and he like at, at some point Andy uh, comes to and Anoon tells him, Andy, do this new trick that you learned from Victor, and he does it right away, and it kills. Or it seriously injures, uh, I think it's either unseen or unrepaired. One of the two get um, right. get just, jacked up. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just say I'm, this. It's, it's, I'm sorry, bro. I, I, it, I, no, I'll do good. a better job next time, y'all. You good. It's nah, just, you good. This show, this sounds, show had great momentum. You, they, and we had that showdown with Billy. And after that episode, it should have been Juiz being like, okay, look. We got our people that's healing. Y'all go get Ano. Y'all chase Billy. And then they could be fighting waves and of villains as they I'll get to Billy. This. And then Juiz do something where she kind of like catches up with the rest of them and then joins the fight. So we're still moving along. I will say Because that's the problem. The show was always moving along if, and then we stopped. If you right? wasn't going to move along, like you said about they could have had a talk with Victor like Naruto style, like with, you know, the spirit in his head. Or we could have sliced that. If you let's say you know you gotta stretch it out, I can accept that. That's just how it works. Or we could have had a flashback with Juiz or her explaining the arc a little bit more. Go to the arc. Show us the arc. Show us these things, major things that prove how the world works. They did it a little bit, but if you want to flesh things out and world build and not necessarily auto build. Which I get, Ano is kind of an architect of their world, or can do what you know without even. Oh, so they are whatever. really, really, really but, force feeding us. I Ano's. mean, imagine, I, imagine uh, a conversation back and forth between Andy and Victor, and basically the end of the conversation, Victor being like, "I don't care, I ain't helping y'all." So then Andy's like, "All right, I'm going out on my own." Andy goes, he's with Fuko. They meet up with, say, Unrepair or Un somebody, I right, from the undercrew, and they're getting kind of beat down. And one of them hits Andy so hard that it knocks the shard out of his head. And then when Andy puts his head back, it's Victor, and him, Victor's like, "You know what? That kind of hurt." And then, oh snap! Now we got a real fight. Now we all accept because now he like, you know what? That kind of hurt. I'm gonna have to whoop y'all. And then all of a sudden, now we got a show. But no, we're kicking it here with big books and pages and jumping into memories and a whole bunch of yeah, it's playing it, cowboy it, and, and whatever. And it's like it sounds very uneven. <laughs> all of a sudden, it sounds very unconstructive. And we had an amazing revelation. We had all the fuel we needed, and they were like, "You know what? Let's just it stop." Sounds the show undecisive in the direction mm -hmm. it wants to go in. Mm -hmm. They're just like, yo, let's, let's just throw it I'm, all away. I'm having a hard time with it, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry you're the only one that jumped. 
I'm sorry, we jumped it out of that water, bro. Like, well, see, I got, was hoping jump with you, I didn't man. watch this episode, but I was hoping I was like, I'm gonna come in and Dub's gonna be like, yo, this episode they got back and it's good, and I was gonna be like, cool. I needed a break, get, man. But may, maybe it's not that bad because, like, I do remember some action, but I just also. Yeah. I think I just don't like that character, and so it, it it makes it a hard watch for me. I can't be. I can be honest, Ken. Before we go to the two things that we all like, can I give Mashal some love real quick? Because I'm I'm no Mark. You just sound like you haven't. It's not like you punished. I'm sorry, bro. Just yeah, like, let, let, punished, let's go. On, let's go on and talk Mashal for a minute. Mashal is much simpler. <laughs> it's so much simpler. <laughs> it's a brother like, just being strong, bro. I love Mash, man. Shout out to Rachel. Shout out to my fellow Masher. Mama Mash Straw Hat. I don't know what we call ourselves. But we, ain't, we we never giving up on Mash because he he's simple minded and he tell you simply what he gonna do. Unlike un, the un, un folks, he's like, mm -hmm. I'm going to put you under with my fist and my muscles. He literally says Not the, with my muscles. No, you like, bro. I, I, I'm sorry. Last thing I'm gonna say, oh. Andy still isn't a very likable character to me. He doesn't okay. become more like that. That's one thing. I all these other animes that I've been watching, it, the pro tag at some point. I mean, I, I start liking them more and more. I, I don't feel that way about Andy. I don't like Andy that much. Man, you got you like we like I like Fuko way more. We, I, we're I here don't for, like Andy. We're here for Fuko, bro. Let's just be honest. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> like we're here for Foucault's story. Because yeah, uh, and, Andy is kind of. Andy's, he just, he's just. He a is a, he's a whack pro. He's, he's a, a wacky pro tag. He's a tool. In he's every pro tool. Way. Pro, <laughs> pro tag tool. Pro tool. <laughs> Protozoa. Sick. Okay, wicked. I'm, I'm wicked done. sick. Or whatever he says. I'm, I'm done with un, the wicked sick. I. They're trying right. to make that stick, and that's it's terrible. It, it's kind of like uh, yeah. what's that that Simpson character Poochie? He kind of got that Poochie vibe going. <laughs> mm. <laughs> They're trying to make it stick, man. It ain't gonna stick. This ain't the nineties Gen X extreme, you know, era. Dude, we even got out of that a little bit. Radical. <laughs> it look. All jokes aside, Dragon Ball still got that that corner on lock. So I don't know, Andy. I don't know, bro. I need him. I need him to step up his language skills or something. It just change it up a bit next year, but next time. But I'm gonna get back to match. Are you, are anything else on Undead? Because I ain't got. Oh no, nah, I'm good. I'm okay, good. cool. I think Thank I. You. I think I actually like One Punch more than I like Andy, and that's that says mm. a lot because he is a flat character. Any anyway. But that's done on purpose with good writing. Right. Rain. For that, right. like that, you like we. He's actually not really flat. Like, like he's they're just, trying to make us like Andy, and, and that that trying to shove that, it He's down not your very throat. like. But anyway, Mash, Mash ain't trying hard. All Mash want to do is live with his grandpa in the woods and not be discriminated against. But we're now at the point. The good thing about Mash, the pacing. They are not wasting any time, like the show we just talked about. We're now at the point they didn't finish the tournament, you know, and at the point, you know, where uh, to to com contrast it against Naruto, where uh, what's his name, Amara Rochu, and I'm about to bring him up because you know the part uh, of Rochu Mara where where he attacked, he interrupted the whole tuning exam. But we're now at this point where. Innocent Zero and the fake Dumbledore or their Dumbledore, they're going at it, man. I mean, uh, it's good. Like, it's really, like, I read this to see it animated. Pretty dang good. Like, Innocent Zero is just a sick person. His whole goal is the children he then constructed. I don't know how Mash and his brothers were made out of some type of magic, but his goal, and I'm, this is going to sound pretty disgusting, is to basically consume their hearts. And to make become a perfect being, um, it's pretty rough. Um, but Mash, he'll hey, do that's the, the that's the same thing uh the devil wanna do on a uh, demon slayer. So yeah, it's just mm. pretty. It's pretty much along the lines. This guy is the wizard boogeyman. He is Voldemort. He is 
Orochimaru, he's disgusting. He he's he's into internally being internal and all that stuff, and he's powerful as hell. Um, so he's kind of messing over the head guy. The head guy come with it. Like he's I love you know, you know the old the old man syndrome. He gotta die, he gotta be the martyr. But I do love when the old he man gotta sacrifice gets, himself for the for the new crew. For the pro tag, and you know, he gotta pass on the generation. But I love when these guys get to show out. Like that's one thing I loved about Black Clover, because when he showed out, when the the Wizard King, the Wizard King show out, now he he kind of lost, but he kind of won. He 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 did that, but his powers, when you start seeing man can control space and time for some reason, I guess King Kingly and the elderly type of guys can control space or time, and basically the good guy here he's controlling space while the evil guy is controlling time, so they like voiding each other out he rewinding he's like able to like it's so wild that he's cutting space out so he can't get harmed to a point and it's just but it's you know time i guess what what controls what time versus space but uh but yeah but they did his flashback like uh what's his name uh you know um Wahlberg is his name his flashback, his, his 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 flashback is pretty smooth. It does not grind nothing to a halt. It's just in there and showed how the most powerful wizard was a good dude. And I like I said, I love. I'm a sap for it. I don't care. But when you show me that you got good characters who are immensely powerful, but they thinking about the small man, and they be like, "Hey, our goal is to take care of the weak. We've been blessed with all this power. This is how society should be." And he even did the Orochimaru trick where he was able to re to like take the body of their master and make him a puppet. But what I like about Wahlberg, unlike the third in Naruto, he he like, look, y'all. It's like I love my master, but this man, this thing is not my master. I am going to kill it. And he wiped it and his pipe puppet master off the earth. He's like, Master, I love you, but goodbye. The time mm. is for the present, now, and the future. That is what he said. I am the strongest now. I am the top of the top. The super of the super. Shout <laughs> I'm out, the Mike. captain now. Shout, shout out, Mikey. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man. But uh, Mash, uh, he's down on the ground fighting a cat he fought before. I love Mash. The dude was like, "Oh yeah, I got you." He was talking all this stuff like blah blah. blah. He was like, "Oh, are you my brother?" He's like, "No, I'm a clone." of like of your father's dna but you trash though blah blah oh he's oh, like oh snap. okay oh but then he's like oh I and mash says this he's like look man i saw you move once it ain't gonna it ain't gonna work on me no more playboy and it was a joke it was like he kind of gagged it up like he was doing the whole chibi running on top of it but he was running on the spikes like he cannot use magic but he can like run he's so fast he ran on top of the, the projectiles Punt, he punched him so hard it did the triple the triple take knocked his brains loose he was like man said look oh i saw it once before you think it's gonna work on me again please i like mash he might be simple but when he's ready to kind of like hurt you he talking tr cash money <laughs> go beat you like he like i will beat you down with my and his fist there's cl they'll close up on his fist and he'll start flexing him. and it's just like Bro, his he's his expression don't change, but his fist gets really veiny and really really nasty. <laughs> but ultimately, man, you just see where it's going. Um, yeah, it's just like I know what happens after this. Basically, Zero is going to get away, but they're going to prepare Mash a little bit more because some magic just don't work on him. But they can't really, you know, the dude wants to take him alive kind of sort of but the goal is if he can just heart slide out his heart now that his body is ready whatever he don't really need the rest of mash so he he can kill mash but he kind of gotta not destroy whatever he needs from him so i love where they're going with mash um it's very simple only a couple more episodes left you ain't gotta worry about all the dick look you get it magic and then it's fight the protagonist hit people his homeboys use all type of magic different things simple magic you ain't gotta bust your head open on the show that we just talked about like you will not be confused at all so that's what i got for mash 
Hey, word, that's what's up. Shouts to Marshall. All right, now, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't bring up uh, a young brother that's out there just trying to level up. All he want to do is he just want to step his game up so he can take care of his family. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make some money to feed his daughter. Well, I mean, well, his sister, but still. You know what I'm saying? He want to see his mom wake up again. Want to see her, you know what I'm saying, happy and vibrant. That's all. He don't want to hurt nobody. And people are always trying to keep him down. That's Mike, right. Why, why is, are you describing uh, I show her? You, are you recapping like a Biggie song? <laughs> I feel like I'm about to start here. Sky is the limit. And you know, if you keep on. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm talking gonna about silver leveling, y'all. Yeah. Hey. Man, that's so, that's what I'm talking about. So everybody's on the so we all up on the last episode, right? C- oh, come on, yeah, man. man. Now this is a protagonist I can get with. This is a protagonist. look, you yes. know what? Man, look. Look. Yo. I you know what? Shouts out to uh what is it? Uh Juhi trying to <laughs> Juhi trying to give you the, the Sakura I mean the Sakura conversation at the beginning, like you know, you're so much stronger now. Like, like you should have been mad more stronger already, but we ain't gonna go there. We, we already covered that in the last show. But well, I'm gonna cover one she's part. She's like, of it, you, but keep going. you've been so strong. You're so strong now. I mean, like, yeah, no. girl. I ain't gonna say please. She, 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 no, she. Can't. I mean, she's not wrong, but it's just the fact that like she should have been strong. But like, girl, you been strong. She should have been strong, but what did she do at the end of the episode? She quit. She said, I'm, "I can't do this." She, yeah, uh, she, she. What? That's what all I wanted to say is that mentally, there in the world, a lot of people can be B rank, A rank, but if they ain't got no battle experience and they ain't got no heart, yeah, it don't she matter. Ain't got no heart, man. And she been. I mean, she probably gonna come back in the game to save her man or something like that. But I mean, he he chilling right now, like, uh, bruh. I don't think Gino, he did Yo, Genu is doing his thing. Man, I ain't going front. He even got people trying to scout him. Man, bro. I'm, that's what I love about this world. And this little part right here. That the scouts are like, you know, they like it's gonna be like people trying to scout him. And like you just don't know. They're gonna be like, ah oh, man, I got this guild. Come holler at me. And I got we make so much dollars, you know. He you was know, like, pay- I want Three, what do you say, like six hundred billion dollars or something? He said something crazy. Well, it's in Korean won, so it's like carry the carry the couple of zeros over to like our our numbers. It's a but it's it was still funny. a lot. He, he said, yeah, uh, lot. "So you're offering me sixty billion because that's that's you said significantly more. That's like that would be double of what they offer me because they offer me thirty billion. Like they offer me their building." 60 billion is like I don't know if it's like 50 million or something US dollars or something like that. It's still a a ridiculous number. Like yeah, oh boy, face indicated that it was a lot of money every time. <laughs> every yeah. time he, he asked him for something, oh boy he, was losing it. He was like, wait, wait. I love that he said he 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 messes with him. He like, oh, you was spying on me, and it, like. You know, even though he's figuring it out quick that, okay, people can figure out I'm not necessarily E rank no more, but I'm still going to threaten him for now a little bit. Yeah, like, homie, you know, homie like used that up. stealth on him. Did he cut him? He's like, hey, bro. Did he and heal he, him? He, he, he was like, I got the power, you know, to, power man, to kill I can you and touch heal you. you. I can I mean, touch you whenever I want to. And, and that's what he's kind of going through. It's like, is he a hero? Is he a protagonist? It's going to get morally gray, but at the same time, leave that man space alone. Don't mess with his sister. Don't mess with his mom. Those are the consi- the constants. Like that's all you gotta not do. Bro, and it's so him. funny, man. Like pay the man. Dude, dude was <laughs> dude was looking at him like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be able to get him. Man, oh boy, Gino had had him shook. First of all, he, but he he was also still like, man, he the real deal. He's even he's even better than I thought. Speaking of real ones, look, I know he a scrub. I know he can't fight, 
but let's give a shout out to Gino or uh, what's his partner name? Um, That's Gino, right? Gino. Gino. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm it's, messing, cause, I'm uh, messing it up. We, I'm gonna have it. Jin I'm Wu have it. and Gene, Gene, Gino, right? I think yeah. it's Gene. I think you're right. Jin, Jin Wu and Gino. And they kind of pronounce it like and her name Jin is Jue. Well, you ain't got to worry about her no more after this episode for a while, mm-hmm. um, cause she quit, like for real. Like she, she, she gonna, she'll be back sooner or later. Eh, she gonna kind of just dip for a while, cause she's like, hey, come see me if you in the mother in my land, you know, my part of Korea, come take me out. Shout out to her though. She was like, you know what? I still wanna holler. She wanted to <laughs> like, I just, I kind of like, you know, I know we talk but about. But I liked about it. She, she always liked. It. She always liked him, and she like, you know what? I liked you before you got the muscles and the money. But now yep. that you got the muscles and money, don't forget about you. It, it don't hurt. You know, <laughs> it what don't mean? hurt. You know what I'm saying? You know, you don't need me to heal you no more. But that's okay. Oh yeah, that's Jin Ho. So Jin Ho is the dude that got the man. He got the you know the rich dad, the crazy armor that he just pushed down. I want to give him some love because this is why I love character. He. You know, if you can't add something on the battlefield, but he set up the gates, he set up all the structure that Jin Wu, even though he knows about going in the dungeon, whatever, he never set it up as a guild master. And of course, this guy wants to become a guild master for various reasons. And it's and it's really like all what his dad explained. Like they need those resources out the dungeons to kind of run yeah. the world. So, so he, everybody getting, yo, everybody eats, man. Everybody getting paid. Jim Wu going in, doing the work. He's leveling up. Then the uh, construction company, they getting all the jewels and whatever, the rubies or whatever. And then Jin Ho is also getting the experience so he can be a guild master. Like, everybody wins, man. So it's all good. The man is honest. And I love that. He wasn't no dirty catch, you know, because he was honest from the, he was always honest. But when he hollered him, he like, hey, man, pay this brother. He's supposed to get some of them spoils of those rubies or those uh, crystals because y'all ain't had that in the contract. So that's some of his money, too. So you need a, you need a lawyer, confidant guy like that when you're doing high level business, man. Yeah. And the fact that he can, you know, he's young. He's slightly younger than him. But as far as his business sense, he got it. But also, Jin Woo also got confidence and he know where his value. Look. Knowing your value, yep, bro. He tell knew it, his value. He learned his value real quick. He's like, okay, I get it. Like, okay, he's like, Jin Wu ain't stupid. He he, you know, he know he can't really hide his persona per se, because it's just the government got their hand in everything a little bit to know, and you got to report when these dungeons that are getting increasingly dangerous or too many of them pop up. You got to dis- discuss it. And also, you go, they kind of got to know why a hunter, a B-level hunter who work for them get murked. So, you know, they're not stupid. They're like, oh, well, that's the story. We know that, you know, the old man, it makes sense on paper, kind of, sort of. But they're not dumb. But, you know, it's just he's leveling up at a fast pace. But the politics around solo leveling makes this a good story if that makes any sense what i'm yeah thinking. i think also uh mr mr huang that that bill gonna come due but i think when it by the time it come due man jim Wu gonna be so bu- far ahead of that dude it ain't even, he gonna step up thinking that he gonna son that dude and jim will gonna be like nah bro <laughs> this is what happened to your brother <laughs> and this is what about to happen to you man i ain't gonna say nothing but yeah I mean, oh yeah, because I, I know I know you've been reading ahead I of the mean, class. It's not even look. I, all I can say is, bruh, In this episode alone, they leveled up like how many bruh. how many dungeons they do in this episode? Like man, four or he five? leveled up a lot. He's, he's doing. I think. Yeah, bruh, Like they did mad dungeons. He's he when when Mister Huang shows up, I think he think he gonna be doing something. But Jim Wu gonna be like, nah, you not doing that. Yeah. 
Yeah. At you if 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 you lying, I'm flying. And I'm I'm very well grounded. <laughs> Yeah, and he's he's taking on like huge feats like at the beginning because remember he also levels up with his daily workout. So he does what a hundred push ups, a hundred squats, a five K run or something like that. I know he does like he does yeah. like four or five things. So he levels up just <laughs> normally from doing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'd probably say he's he's around B to A territory right now. Yeah, he, you know, he he's looking at A class that that A class guy. Like, I don't know if I could take him, but I don't know. He looking pretty. He looking automatic. He gonna be that. He gonna be that S plus. Yeah, cause he was the uh, the dude was saying it like, hey, it's kind of up to them whether they want to, you know be good or evil because nobody can really stop him. But I I'm calling it that game is going to tell Jim Wu to go to that island sooner or later. Like, because they keep they keep bringing that island up. It's gonna be like go to the island and do something. He gonna have to go to Gilligan's Island. He gonna have to like save everybody or something. And then that's when people gonna be like, oh snap, he's the realist. <laughs> oh, I know I'm on to something on that one. Cause that game, that that game always be. It's like, up, oh, see this dude, he's mad evil. Now he's your challenge. It's like what? Also, how good of a deal is it to just sit around and still get $3 million per dungeon? Like, bruh, look, yo, I would be keeping your secret so well. I'd be guarding your secret. When those people came around, I'd be like, look, y'all need to leave. But like, what? Y'all need to leave right now. Don't even step up in here. Uh-huh. Yeah, cause what what did the uh is it like the Korean one or something like that? Yeah, I'll take that. So you for you to kick it to get like almost, you know, this Two grand to kick it for a couple hours and do nothing. And remember, they're doing they're doing multiple things a day. Right, so imagine right. Imagine getting yo. That's like if you're if you're getting yeah. Let's say let's say around ten grand a day. Now, of course, they're not doing. All right, let's, so let's work this out real quick. All right, so now, of course, they're not doing dungeons every single day. All right, but 
if we're going to say, let's say they do three dungeons a day, three times a week. So. And that's how many, how many they did. Did they say how many days it took them to do those 19? So, all right, for those 19, they made $42,000. Unless I'm guessing they're doing maybe four a day because they said they had to drive and some of them were far from each other. So let's say it took uh, two weeks, maybe two weeks to do that. Bruh, do you know? Look, if someone told me right now, I'll give you $42,000. All you got to do is just drive around with me. You ain't got to be in no game. Just sit outside and kick it. I'll be like, word? I mean, like, that's it? I'm like, shoot. Bruh. Man, I ain't saying nothing. Uh, that, imagine in like two weeks approximately because it's TV time we don't know for sure but about two weeks 42 grand so alright let's go and extrapolate this a little bit so if we're going <laughs> going to multiply that by two in a month you're talking about $85,000 in one month some people ain't seeing that in a year not even some there's a lot of people that are not seeing 85 in a year <laughs> yeah, because in a month you done came up on eighty five grand, bruh. He's a man of the people, yo. for quitting. <laughs> I mean, just, or I mean, she, she don't have to do, I mean, she could just be like a, she could just work it like patient first or something. Do a little, do like a little, <laughs> Do a little baby healing. Open up a little practice. I mean, you know, a little veterinarian or something. Heal little birds and puppies and stuff. You do little simple stuff. That 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 ain't gonna have her sitting around there like like a newborn baby horse with her legs not working. Oh no, my legs don't work anymore. I can't heal anyone. I can't go anywhere. I'm useless. He be like, girl, come on. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, you know, I kinda thought that you know how I feel about I you, kinda girl. thought that was that was something that was gonna happen because they kept talking about it. It's like, no, nah, you know, maybe one day. <laughs> Just keep living this dream. Yeah. 
Yeah, he got to go get that elixir of life. I ain't gonna lie, I be feeling like that when I put on my Jordan sixes. <laughs> they my favorites. Man, I got a fresh cut. I just got paid. Oh, and this was my bonus check. So I'm really living in these streets. I don't owe nobody no money. So I'm sitting on a couple stacks right now. I'm going to chill this weekend. He'll be chilling it, chilling with his pimp cup. But <laughs> oh yeah, he gonna keep it. He gonna keep it K-pop. You know what I'm saying? And get that K-pop haircut. Back then, y'all didn't want me. Now I'm hot, you all on me. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I, yeah, he has no reason to go there no more. He's good. Girl, I just healed myself. I photosynthesized and all of a sudden all my uh all of my, my, my wounds are healed. Yep. <laughs> that you know what? Hey, Coop, we could tell this one. This 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 is this funny, Mike. Uh me and Coop were meet we were actually meeting to discuss some blurtish business one time. We met at uh a joint that uh Yeah, but they 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 had a, like a little lunch deal. We wanted to check it out. And we go there and there's not a lot of people. Our server, he's nice enough. Um, we 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 ask we ask him what he'd recommend, and he said he said oh, I'm I'm sorry guys I I don't know I I haven't eaten anything from here. Like I I've seen more fat on an anorexic earthworm than this Dang. dude had, and he. He was, yeah. The food was amazing, and he he was like, I don't know, I haven't even tasted it. And I told Coop, I say he probably, he probably derives his sustenance from the air, <laughs> a, a, a mixture of air, and like he photosynthesized. That's how he. <laughs> you are stupid. He's like, he's like, I need nothing but the sun. Yeah, but yeah, that that part that I I think yeah, like the the photosynthesized part was funny because I I was like, how do you work at this place with this delicious food? Oh man, the deliciousness of Sasha knows that he was like. Well, you would you would at least want to try some things just so when someone comes in and says, "What do you recommend?" Yeah, right. Food. I don't need food. Food. We need food. But. <laughs> You gotta get, a, gotta get a little grab, man. Like, like, yeah, like you. He really couldn't tell us what nothing on the menu tasted like. Ah, <laughs> uh, anyway, let's let's uh let's wrap it up with um with Higan. That's right, Ninja Kamui. With these demons in my head. Vengeance is the only way. Man, that's right, man. Y'all know and what's man, up. Man, 
I'm telling y'all, uh, that that opening make me want to run through a wall like Kool Aid, man. Holla, oh yeah. Yep. Thank God Emma's good, man, because I was, was going to hurt my feelings. It's going to hurt my feelings. I mean, she's good enough. I mean, she saved, she saved our, she saved our hero. That's all I need. You know what I'm saying? And she tried. She was friends with Mari, and she tried to save all their lives, but she was just too late. You know what I'm saying? So, so she good in my book. Yeah, I, like I think it was part of her secret, her secret art too. Yep. Yeah, it, it'll work out, man. She, you know, she's living the life of a like a triple agent. Yeah, so, I think yeah. she does care about Mike. I mean, I, I mean, but she really is like she really is a ninja, and like that's her mission. You know what I'm saying? She got to pay back Mari. Mari, uh, Mari saved saved her life, and mm -hmm. it, it said she would save his. Goodness, bro! It it was a nice callback. I I it, no no weird powers that I just don't understand. Oh, mm. you, you know what? I take that back. I don't fully understand the secret art, but it doesn't. It's not. It, it's it's all good. It's not stupid to me. I'm I'm sorry, y'all, because I I feel like I I feel. Like I should feel bad for, like I, I I feel like some of the unstuff and undead unlucky is just it's stupid. Yeah. This is... <sighs> oh, why you? You right. You Shouts right, you out right. to Mike for taking a ten day nap. <laughs> hey, bro. He said Yo, he... I be I be wanting naps like that. I'm like that. Hey, Mike Mike be cussing. He just don't say it. But you know he cussing when he say certain things. He's like, 10 days? I heard the rest of what Mike thought. That's what I thought, too. Ten days. Man, Mike, man. I, when he I said told, 10 I days, Gamma, I was like, hold on, what? I told Gamma, I, I like Mike because Mike, I swear, Mike is one of my uncles. Mike out here like looking like Teddy Pendergrass with the coat. Yeah.
I guess because they need hey, they need that, that's why they, they gave them automatic more rifles because they can't shoot. They need to shoot more because it's kind of like a, I guess, a law of averages, maybe. Like, hey, we. Because, see, Mike, hey, he got the experience, man. Mike He's been out there in the game shooter, for man. a minute. Yeah, the, maybe look, maybe I'm you know you. all the all the good goons was taken, man. I don't know. Hey, all the good goons are in Latveria. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Higan man. was. I mean, they did. He was bleeding after he ran through about fifty of them, though. Like, like, bruh. Like they need they need to step their game up too. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Hey, then you gonna learn now. It, no, I don't think it's nobody else. It's Higon and Emma. That's it. <laughs> and Mike. I mean, Mike been asleep for ten days. He ought to he be well, well rested. rested. Hey, I tell you, Mike. Mike is that real deal. Mike, done, that wasn't his first time up in the skididdly. Mike didn't let that thing go before. <laughs> oh, shout out to Commando, the the craziest movie. Man, Ray Don Chong. And you have the you have the montage of like loading up guns and tightening belts and stuff and putting clips and stuff. Yeah, I'm tired of y'all snakes on this plane. Man, look. <laughs> Shouts out to Commando where Arnold Schwarzenegger picks up a dude that's inside a phone booth. He picks up the whole phone booth with the man in it and slams him on the ground. This man rips a car seat out of the car. So that he, <laughs> he did it so fast. It's like, <laughs> boy, that car seat, it, if, you, if you slam on your brakes, you're going out that car. Because he ripped it off way too easy. I, I ain't gonna <laughs> lie, man. I, I, Arnold was my dude back in the day, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, he gonna have mad clips, grenades and stuff, and he gonna he ain't even gonna try to sneak. He gonna go to the front of the city. <laughs> Alza, come out here! Alza, I want to talk to you. I'm tired of y'all stuffing stuff. You bring your you bring your out here now. Mike cuss though, like we not cussing on here. Mike be letting the fly. Yeah, Mike be cussing. I hope not. I I I kind his fate is too fly, man. I can't the, let the him fact, die like that. The, look, he said he said his fate was feeling fly, fly as hell today. And and I mean when when the when the dummy went off, he said, "Hmm, smart girl." And I I watched that explosion and I kind of slowed it down. It looked like it was something that consumed him entirely and all his men. So. 
I don't know if we're gonna see him again. And I, I thought if we were, we would have seen him again with when Lil Short Nasty was on oh, uh we hit little body. Emma. Yeah. He's so nasty. Yeah. Oh yeah, he he's another one. You know he got to die good. I I think Nah, so. Emma's suit is just uh depowered now. Which is No, no, he like he ripped off part of her mask and then you saw the fire. And the, I thought I thought uh he activated before like right the moment right before that happened. But he so started maybe activating not. I, I I the way it looks Emma it looked we're like gonna have to pour out a little liquor then. And yeah, I, I hope she made it. They, you know, they didn't show her I think I think the next episode though, boy, he about to give it to little big head. Oh, he about to he about to give it to little big head and and uh but the demons in my head vengeance is the only way mm -hmm. yeah i i pr the, the i prefer only thing them is, to we, just we know that without the suits we know can't nobody hang with higan except for uh what Reaper and, and Yamaji? I, I, Reaper and 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 Yamaji. That's that's it. I, no, I think the Kamui suit was the ultimate suit. At least right now, it's the most advanced suit. Mm. Don't yeah. stop. The man has got his own money. Because he's been begging for it. He been begging yeah, for it, been, so he got to get it. He been asking for that butt whooping. Reaper might have his own suit. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's show, just the song. Is so, you know, vengeance so is the only way. Yeah, that's all you're going to get. Like that's that's part of the cover though, man. She she was on the cover. That don't count. You know what I'm saying? She I, I, I ain't mad at Emma. I hope I hope she's I hope she survived. We don't know. 
they kind of made it look like they the they kind of made it look like uh she she with her message saying sayonara yeah uh, she probably that, gone. that kind of like that activated he gone and and you saw his you saw his that that uh the sinking technology just kicking the high gear like doom 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 yep shut the and city down you know, a couple blocks down he good now shasty short and nasty Shasty. <laughs> he uh he he like oh wait he saw he gone in the arm and i ain't gonna lie that that probably did something for him yeah unfortunately but it <laughs> hey it, it it will till till he till he really feel what he asking for true <laughs> anyway uh, I will with a smile on my face <laughs> anyway alright I'm gonna throw it I'm gonna throw it to Dub Dub final thoughts where can they find you I mean man y'all I I solo leveling is still good to me I'm still digging it I, that, I'm, I'm digging uh Jim Woo, but I like Gino. I like him as like a side character. He he he's funny. Like that boy breaking out that brand new armor, and he can't even stand up in it. And it's it's <laughs> it's, it's, it's like putting on them fly kicks. He look good you though. Want, you don't want to bend the toe on them because they so fly. He's like I got Ferragamo armor, and it's like you can't fight in that though. <laughs> If if the feds looking, I'm I'm gonna be fresh as hell. Anyway, um, like like yo, we got some good stuff coming. Like X Men '97 is right there. Yeah, I know this is animated, but it's right there. I'm looking forward to that. I'm I still love Ninja Kamui. Ninja Kamui right now. With, with without Demon Slayer and and and, and my hero, Ninja Kamui is probably probably my favorite thing I'm watching right now. It's like it 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 has a, a little bit of a cool little story, but they get right to it. Like yeah, they they make me feel the way I'm supposed to feel about the characters I'm supposed to feel about. They get it, help me get it on out the way, and I and I like to see him going. Uh, I like to see him here good paint here good death dealer. He do it so mm. well. Okay. And now you're okay. about to now you're about to have another tool to add to his arsenal. He, you you about to give gamma rays to the Hulk. And so I'm looking forward to this. Um Oh yeah, yeah. it's coming. It is coming. Modoc Jr. <laughs> you know what? Modoc Jr. gonna take a L. Yeah, Cause he, he gonna he to gonna beat that suit and then he gonna come see him personally. Be like, nah, bro, you been talking all that yang. So talking talking like I, I, that's why I became a ninja. Like Emma was like, oh no, you ain't no ninja. Yeah, you like you, you ain't like, whoa, what you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not that's like you know what I was gonna say something, but nah, just go and finish your thing. Go and finish your thing. <laughs> <laughs> People be using titles, be like, you know, good and well, you don't do that. You know you you know you ain't really about that smoke, but uh, and and it's funny because he clearly offended uh Emma when he said that, like she kicked into another gear. She was like, "Nah, you'll never be a ninja." But um, yeah. So if y'all ain't watching Ninja Comic Week, please, please, please start, please, please come. Won't won't you come? Won't you come? Won't you come? Anyway, I'm Mark Dub. On IG, uh, this Saturday we got a show, Soul Lab Sunday on a oh, Saturday, yeah. 7 p.m. Yes, we cannibal. Be there in the place. I'll be there. I'll be saying funny things that make people smile. That's okay. my superpower. That's my, that's my secret art. Uh, that's your I'm Mark Dub on IG. I am Mark Dub 44 on Twitter X X Twitter. I'm on there sometimes. And I am uh, Mark Wallace in real life. Uh, yeah. Man, look. 
see, y'all, y'all gotta learn. Sometimes you gotta give love to the people that's doing the real work, not the folks that's claiming to be doing the work, like folks claiming that they ninjas. Sometimes you just gotta give give the props to the folks like Emma, not the ones like you know Modoc Junior. But I'm gonna throw it over to Coop, not Coop Doggy Dog, just Coop, cause. It's, Cause I, I said after this episode we're gonna retire the coot doggy dog, but in my mind we did. <laughs> Final thoughts. I might, I might peep, I might peep it out. I, I've seen, I've seen a couple clips. I might, I might peep it out. I might have to review it on Wednesday. I saw it, I saw it. Right. They're making me work too hard for it.
Yep. There's like humorous things, but no, nah, ain't ain't nothing funny about Ninja Kamui. But it's coming. It's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Hey right, man, that's what's up. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all look, y'all heard it here first. Alright. Don't be don't be thinking that Modoc Jr. gonna be around for another week. <laughs> I don't I don't think it's gonna I don't think he's gonna live that much longer. <laughs> I don't All think right, I don't so. think he's gonna make it too many more episodes. I'm good with it too. Nah. Uh, <laughs> so uh final thoughts man we we actually got some good stuff to watch man undead unluck hasn't been rolling like we wanted it to but we this was still still some good stuff to watch and we got invincible back so you know what i'm saying you guys just enjoy yourselves uh, enjoy yourselves and jump down in the comments let's talk about some anime and have a good time so n-e-i-d s-o-u-l facebook instagram twitter tiktok podcast all that jazz and until the next time that you have to step into a brand new super technological synced up brainwave suit. This is us to you just saying peace. Peace.